comic book superheroes. They may not be real, but that's okay, because I already know a real-life superhero. You may, you may not know him, though. He's uh, not very mainstream. Today, I will be honoring my dad, Richard Monroe Kaiser, because he is someone who I look up to and hope to be like someday. Three reasons why I look up to him are that he's become a successful person in life. He is an admirable person that will always do what he thinks is right. And my final reason is that he has already inspired me so much to become the person I am today. My dad was born the youngest child to a family of three kids in Baltimore, Maryland on June 16th, 1961 and moved to Portland, Oregon with his mother, brother, and stepdad when he was very young. And when he finally did turn 18, he moved out of the house or was rather kicked out and went to Nebraska University for about two years and then moved on from that and joined the Navy where he was stationed on the USS Kitty Hawk, which coincidentally enough, was named after where his mother was born in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. After he got out of the Navy, he just kept living his life until he eventually met my mom and down the road had my brother and I. Now, my dad is almost 60 years old and has had quite a bit of time to build up a life that he is proud of. He has accomplished a great amount, even without a college degree, and that's something I am proud of him for. Both him and my mom run a family-owned auto repair shop that my grandpa opened in 1946. But he isn't just successful career-wise, he has also built an amazing personal life and even plays the drums in a band called The Love Handles. And yes, that is the real name of the band. He has become what I believe to be a very successful person in life and has built a life that I believe anyone would be proud of. The successful type of life that I too dream of one day achieving. And it's that goal that he set for me that helps me to keep moving forward so that one day I can be just like him. Now, sure, my dad's generally a nice guy, don't get me wrong, but like most male baby boomers born and raised in the 60s and 70s, he does tend to have some anger issues. <laughs> but um, even with all that, my dad will always try to do what he thinks is right. And while others may not always think what he's doing or what he chooses is the best option, in the heat of the moment, he makes the decision that he thinks is best. And he will either stick with that to the bitter end or take it and learn from it. And it's that very thing that I find so admirable about him. And throughout my life, I've started to pick, on, pick up some of those very same behaviors from him. And it's something that I am proud of, that I am like my father. And as much as I already admire my dad and hope to be like him one day, there's already a lot of him that has rubbed off on me. I mean, after living with the guy for 20 years, it was bound to happen. We share a lot of the same interests and we generally get along extremely well. I got my passion for music and the drums from him, along with my love for camping and old American muscle cars. I remember going to my first live concert with my dad it was to see Rush on their R40 tour. My dad had always been playing Rush for me since I was basically born. And it was something that I had always dreamed of experiencing. Seeing Neil Peart, Alex Lifeson, and Getty Lee up close was like a dream come true. And the fact that I got to experience that with my dad made it even better. He, he would always uh, take me with him on camping trips and now... 20 so years later I'm camping by myself and it's funny and crazy to go back to the same spots that we camped at together and think just how long ago it was that he brought me there with him for the first time. I see old pictures of my dad when he was younger and hear from his friends just how much I'm like him and it makes me happy that I'm like my father. He's inspired me so much already to become the man I am today, and I can't thank him enough for that. My dad is a real-life superhero, and I wish I could thank him every day for all that he has done for me and my family. And sure, we have our moments where we don't get along, and we yell at each other, and we just want to punch one another, but at the end of the day, there's no one else in this world that I'd want to call my dad. I'm honoring my dad today because he has achieved a successful life that I hope to one day achieve as well. 
is an admirable person who will always do what he thinks is right. And finally, he has inspired me so much to become the man I am today. And I truly hope that he is just as proud of me as I am proud of him.